Hello lovelies, this is Megan from Little Hot Tamale and today we're making miniature fringe hearts. For my fringe hearts, I decided to upcycle some pages from a old book. So I'm just using my glue stick and I'm just going to attach it to some white cardstock to make it more sturdy. And then I'm just going to set it aside until it dries. And for the fringe layers, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to use some of my washies. So I chose some mint and some pink with some gold foil on it. And if you don't want to use washi tape, you can just use plain paper. Okay, so now I'm punching out about a half of a heart with my one and a half inch heart punch. Okay, so now I'm just going to use some zigzag scissors or pinking shears. And I found mine in the craft section. I think they were like $1.99, so that's not too bad. <laughs> and I'm just going to trim off where the white part is, and this is just going to be my guide when I'm making the fringe part. <laughs> Okay, to make our lives a little bit easier, when we're cutting our fringe, we're just going to flip our tops of our hearts over and draw a line, and that's going to be the farthest point that you're going to snip. The points on the zigzag line are going to act as a guide for our fringe cuts, so that each of our little fringe pieces will be equal. Okay, so you're just going to do that to all the tops of your hearts. Okay, so our book pages should be dry by now if you decide to use them as your background paper. I also wanted to point out that the only part of the background paper that's going to show is the bottom tip of your heart. The next step is to do the center band. Now you can use washi tape, ribbon, or paper. For me, I'm just using a variety of washi that I think work well together. And I'm just letting the washi hang over the sides and then later I'll go back and trim it. Okay, so let's say you have some washi that you really like and it's wide. You can always cut it in half so that you can be more sparing with your favorite washi. So for mine, I just cut it in half like so. And then the side that I know is straight, I put that on the bottom part because I can't cut a straight line at all. <laughs> Alright, and I'm just going back and trimming off all the excess that's hanging over the sides. Okay, so now that we have all of the sides trimmed, we're going to attach the top fringe part to our hearts. And you can use whatever adhesive you want. I'm just using tacky glue because I think it works well. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super pumped about these embellishments. I think they turned out adorable and I love how they're made with washi tape because I kind of find it hard to use washi tape and now that I have other items that can go with certain types of washi it makes it a lot easier and it coordinates better on my projects at least that's how I feel <laughs> okay to decorate my hearts I decided to use gold butterflies and then for the other half, I'm using phrase stickers. Well, mine aren't stickers. They're typed out words that I cut out. And I'm just going to glue them to some washi to frame the words. This will add some extra color to my hearts and also allow my words to pop as well. Now you can get really creative with how you want to embellish your heart. You can use gemstones, bows, leave it plain, whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'm just going to cut around these and just leave about a millimeter around the word. Okay. 
and then I'm just going to glue them on with tacky glue. So that is how you make mini fringe hearts. So get creative, try different color combinations, paper, textures, whatever you want. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Build Your Stash. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you have an amazing day. Toodles!